Hi, Iran. Hi. Thanks for having a chat with us today. So, how do you feel about Christmas this year? Christmas is going to be pretty all right this year. Um, we got like Neil's brother coming over to stay, and we got friends staying over. So we got all the Christmas presents already. We've been doing it for a couple of weeks now. So I'm getting pretty good. excited now for Christmas. <laughs> so have you done your presents in the usual way, or have you had to approach it a bit differently? I have to approach it a bit differently. Um, I've had to get it by the weeks before Christmas, like. So, so you've started a bit earlier to, to spread yeah. it out, is it? Yeah. Okay. We also had a bit of fright with Neil as well uh, this week. Um, we thought that Neil had um, strep. So okay. um, we had a doctor's appointment today and it turned out that he's just got a throat infection. So he's just feeling a bit rough, is he? Yeah, it's affecting his chest, and he, and he can't. He hasn't been sleeping for five days. How are you finding access to healthcare, you know, doctors, and that at the minute? Oh, with me, I'm finding it hard because you can't get a face-to-face -face, uh, appointment. It's always, always, always by the phone, and that's hard. I like, I like to see someone. So it's been very difficult in getting a, getting to see a doctor. So you found that you've needed to see a doctor and they, they just won't allow that. Yeah. They just insist yeah. on face to face. Exactly, yeah. Do you feel like you're missing out or you know, does it cause worry then if you can't get a well, face to face? I, I still actually, I still actually need to see a doctor, but they, they won't see me because they they blame everything on everything on COVID again. Even though some things have gone back to normal. It's like um last week I had to go and find a dentist. Um, I had got an infection in my mouth. I have, and I've been on antibiotics now for about four or five days. Have you got an NHS dentist, or did you have to ring for an emergency? I've got a community dentist, but you know that seat that you sit on. It only takes twenty one stone. So then I have to be then transferred to the resource centre and that's in Portalbert. But I rang up 111 last week about my tooth and they wanted me to go to Armourford. And that's a bit far for me. I don't even know Armourford at, at all. How would you get to Armourford? Mm, I don't know at all. They were they were gonna set they were gonna send me to Armourford to see um Emergency dentist, but that's too far from where I live. And they wanted me to so get there. You rely there on in, public in, transport, in don't you? You've said before. Yes, yeah. Because yeah. mm. they they, rely, they they expect me to be on there on time, and I'm coming a long way, and they don't allow you to have that much time for transport. And there's no help then with, say, for example, getting a taxi or something, is there? No, I can't afford taxis all the time. Because we've been relying on food banks um, lately, well, since we moved here. I was going to ask you about that, actually. But how are you finding the cost of living with, with daily very, expenses? Very hard. very hard. It's like certain stuff we can't, we, we actually need, but we can't afford. Like we need new clothes, but you can't because the amount you got is like for food bills and stuff. And you can't afford like clothes and stuff. So you've been going to the food bank and getting a bit of support through through those. Yeah, if I can get there. Do you find in your having to skip to skip meals or to, yeah, yeah, you know, to have less than you normally would. Mhm, mm that's right. Yeah. What about heating then? Are you, are you affected well, by the cost of I, energy? I, well, this well, I've only just had my boiler fixed Friday. And um, it took them um, six weeks to fix it. And they gave us um, the um, the heaters, but they were going through the electric like tomorrow, basically. 
So we have to stop uh, using the heaters. So now we've got heating. It's, we're doing okay now. I've got literally over hundred pound on my gas. So you're like feeling okay. Keep... You're feeling warm. Yeah. I like to keep over hundred pound on poor electric and gas, so I know that um, if I do, can't afford it that week, I know, at least I know I've got it in the meter. You've got that peace of mind then. Yeah. Does yeah. It, how does I've it affect had... you if if the house is cold? Does it, you know, do you do you have any, you know, with, with illness and that sort of thing? Yes, I have arthritis. And if I don't keep warm, I, I can't do much stuff that I, like I like like I want to. Because the pain is arthritis. Yeah. So arthritis is you find it it's worse if your house is cold and you're not able to put heating on, is it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. I've not also I got to keep myself warm. I got to keep my pets warm as well. They don't do very well in the cold, do they? No, no. Mm -hmm. I've had to put extra. Uh, I've had to dress my, my dog up so she's warm. Otherwise, she's shivering all the time. And of course, you've got guests coming now to stay for Christmas. So, I've got two of them. Here at the moment. The yeah, I've got two of them here at the moment. So, I'm waiting for the other one to arrive tomorrow. So, you're so, all excited for a nice family Christmas? Yeah. Well, hopefully, not long take your mind off. Not long ago, it was mine and Neil's wedding anniversary as well. That was last week, was it? Yeah, it was 16th. Congratulations. So How many me... years is that? Five. Five years. Wow. Now, he went out and bought me a PlayStation 5. That's a, that's a pretty yeah, impressive present. Yeah, for Christmas then, I've got... um. A drawing tablet. I can't wait. Wow. I can't wait to unlock that. <laughs> I bet. I, I know. Bet. It's um an X pen, it is. Oh, thank you. That, that that's a lot of money, that is. But it took us a long time to save for it. I was going to say, I bet that took a, an awfully long time for, for Neil yeah, to put the money yeah. away to save for something like that. Yeah. A lot of plans. Yeah, they're pretty cheap because it's in like five to six hundred pounds. Yeah. So you only had it for well, 150 quid. <laughs> but it took us a while to save I that hope money. it's worth the wait. Yeah, I, I hope, hope you have it a, is. Have a fabulous Christmas.